Hello, welcome to this video for members and subscribers at jamesparkergolf.com. Um, I've been sending a few videos back lately, uh, particularly online, uh, people who want to improve their putting. Um, I've been talking about where they're going wrong in their setup and in their stroke, and of course their stroke, the faults that come from their stroke, um, 99% of the time come from a faulty setup. So uh, I just wanted to, I just uh, pulled my iPad out here um, uh, while I was on the practice putting green in between lessons and uh, just film myself. And uh, there's a few things going on, okay? The, the, you know, the first, the first thing is to hold the putter correctly. Um, we need the club uh, and this is why you know a putter grip has a square grip uh, instead of a round grip like a golf club um, because we want to hold the club in our palms it's almost like you're clapping your hands together and then you're just bringing your left above right or uh, your right above left which is very popular now it keeps the left wrist very uh, uh, it takes the flip out of it with your left wrist if you like if you have your left wrist low um, but uh, I've got my left wrist above right, and uh, the main thing is I've got my hands uh, pressed together. Okay, it's not in the fingers, and that way then you can get your arms, your forearms, and the shaft uh, lined up uh, in one line. There, that's very important. Uh, next few things that we want to try and see uh, in the setup are your shoulders directly above your hands okay Not, again very important we don't want our we don't want the ball uh, sort of over here so that then our hands have to kind of move away from our body to reach the ball okay uh, we just want our, our our hands falling nicely underneath our shoulders and then what that does is it puts the ball position in a certain position all right and if you've bent over enough what you can do then is you can then have your eyes directly over the ball okay uh, with regard to alignment obviously your shoulder alignment and your forearm alignment are very important okay uh, and again this comes from clapping your hands together and having the club in your palms rather than in your fingers uh, but i see a lot of people out there who are especially you know very good players some of them have you know, their toes pointing left, some of them have their toes pointing right. Um, and I think it really comes down to what um, feels good when you set up to it, you know. Uh, but what's very important is having your hands on the club properly, um, clapping your hands together so that your forearms are pointing parallel with where you want to hit the ball, where you want to stroke the ball. And therefore your shoulders are parallel okay um, and then from there you can make a little stroke now uh, big difference between good players and bad players is good players generally what they do is they make their stroke and they stay in their position almost statue like until the ball goes in the hole and they don't come up and out of that position until the ball stops or the ball goes in the hole okay and then whether that's a three foot put a 20 foot put or a 40 foot put right it's generally the same uh routine uh with all your puts all right so that's some that's that's something you can start to ingrain um, when you're on the putting green, you know, don't come up and out of your posture. Don't come up and out of your position that you've bent over until the ball stops or goes in the hole. Okay, and you can see I'm looking down there at the ball, but so I strike it. I make sure I've hit the ball first before I actually start looking after it. And, and all that's happening is it's just a little swivel with the chin. That's all it is okay lower body is very very static lower body doesn't move um, 
good thing that I that I used to teach uh, a lot of juniors with my junior classes. What I used to tell them is pretend that you're a statue, okay, and you're putting stroke. You're making your putting stroke. It's just a a movement with the club and your arms and your shoulders, and then you swivel your head to watch the ball. You swivel your chin to watch the ball, but you're a statue over the ball, okay. And all you're doing is you're looking. You're gonna look up and down the line with your eyes, okay. Um, and then you make your stroke, but you're still a statue, okay. And you've got to remain a statue until the ball goes in or misses or stops, okay. Um, let's look from uh, this down the line view. Now we've got uh, we've got Rory up as well, uh, and one of the things that you notice when you when you watch the good players here is their lack of flip in their hands. Okay, and you can see there when Rory finishes just how flat this left wrist is. Okay, and that's a, that's another big sort of differential between good players and, and poor players. Uh, a lot of the good players on tour, and there's still guys out there who kind of just have a little bit of a flip in the left wrist, okay? So the club head will kind of move a little bit further. But you watch, you watch these guys like Rory and Tiger and Phil. Um, they have, you know, he has a little push forward with his hands there, okay? And then when he's making his stroke... You can see how that club head, there's a deliberate attempt to make sure that club head does not outrace his hands. Okay, it's almost like when he's finishing, the shaft is still vertical. Okay, so that's one of the that's one of the things I I think about when I'm uh, when I'm practicing my putting, when I'm when I'm videoing myself from this angle. It's it's making sure I don't flip the club face. Okay, and if the club the club head if the club head outraces your hands, right, then the club face is going to turn over. All right. So one of the things I make sure I do uh, in my little shots here is just make sure this left wrist is nice and flat when I finish. Right. And I'm trying to feel as though, just like Rory there, that this shaft is still vertical. I think that's a good way to explain it. So what the what you're trying to do is you're trying to you're trying to make sure this club head and your hands are moving at the same speed. All right? If you flip it, if you flip it, then the club head is moving faster than your hands. Number one, you're going to really struggle with with your speed, uh, and obviously the speed is the most important thing with the. Uh, with putting, right? Even if you're slightly offline, um, you know, if your speed's good, it can go in on the top half or the low half still. So um, speed's very important. So again, what we want to try and do is make sure when you're making your stroke that that club head doesn't outrace your hands and try and feel as though when you're finishing, the shaft angle is still vertical there, okay? Uh, so that's a nice little tip for you. Um, if you have any questions or comments, uh, if you're watching this on YouTube or my blog, uh, any questions or comments, please leave them below uh, and I'll get to them when I can. Thanks for watching.